You guys know the drill. Fill your cup up with whatever you're drinking and join me on this next video. Welcome back to the shop. We have a beautiful, beautiful day outside today. So instead of spending our time here in the shop, I thought we would get outside. There is a project that has been waiting on me. And that's the felling of a dead ash tree. We've had the ash borer beetle that has come through the nation and just killed off just about every ash tree there is. The neat thing is, is out back, I found a whole bunch of little saplings. All the big ash trees were dead. The beetles had died off and had gone, and, but the little saplings were coming up. And so we do have some that are coming back. But we have a friend who has a large ash tree in their yard and it's becoming dangerous. It's starting to shed its branches and it could fall over in a windstorm. So I think the wood, then the, especially in the base and the bottom two thirds of it, will be really good for firewood. So we're going to go and drop that tree. Join me as we take this thing down and hopefully this will be a little bit entertaining to you. So come on and join me as we chop up some firewood all right some friends of ours have this tree in their side yard there's plenty of room for it to drop they've asked me to take it down so let's go cut down this tree Here's my chainsaw caddy. So I thought I'd bring you down here and let me show you what we've got. So I made this tote sometime back and this way I can carry my gas mixture, my chain bar oil. I can carry oil for the splitter when I need to. I also have some oil back here for mixing more uh, for the chainsaw have a pair of gloves have a strap in here so that we can pull and draw things <clears throat> have everything i need to work on the chainsaw and to clean it and to take care of it and then i also carry some of these wedges for when we're felling trees i also have in here one of these stump vices it's really handy i don't like to usually um, sharpen the chain the chain while it's on the chain bar but if i have to out in the field this works really really well so you stick that in the stump and you can sharpen the chainsaw so let's go over and i'll show you how we're going to set up this tree all right i hope the wind's not too loud in the microphone Speaking of the wind, it is coming in from the right direction, so we want to drop it that way and the wind's going to help us. The tree's already leaning in that direction, so we should be good there. We are going to want to cut our wedge here on the front and then we'll do our back cut. And You always got to remember that your back cut has to be about two inches higher than the back of your hinge and you always need to leave about two inches of hinge right there you don't go any further than that I don't think we're gonna to have to use a wedge back here but if we do that'll help push the tree over something that you may be most of you may know some of you may not is that a lot of your chainsaws will have this line right here and what's great about that line is that is completely perpendicular to the bottom edge of your saw so you can put this into the wedge once you got it cut and you have your wedge nice and clean, you put your saw in there and you can eyeball down that line and you can see right where your tree should fall. And as long as you do your back cut evenly, it should drop right there in the direction that this is pointing. I've even known some people, especially on pine trees that are nice and straight, will put a stake out in the yard and try to hit and drive that straight stake in the ground when they drop their tree just kind of for the fun of it. But let's get this thing down.
here you got your wedge back here probably you're supposed to come back about a third I probably came back a little bit deep but it was nice and clean and then you're supposed to stay two inches high here I'm good here I'm a little bit low but it still worked out okay the hinge stays in con in connected until it gets down probably about 30 degrees or so and then it will hit here and snap off and usually the momentum of the tree is moving forward, so it will drop in that direction. You could see there was a distance between the tree and the stump here when it finally did land because its momentum was going forward. So this worked out pretty well. Some of my newer viewers, let me introduce you to the background. It makes your work so much more efficient. Come on down here and let me show you what I mean. that was a lot of fun we got rid of something that was dangerous also got some firewood uh, stacked up from that tree and got a little bit of exercise too i don't know how many of you are familiar with the picaroon uh, when i first saw one of these i thought what a gimmick and then i saw it used and then i used one and i thought man this is a game changer you're able to do so much without having to bend over and strain your back and everything else. You're still exercising, you're still working hard, you're still getting lots done, you're still productive, 
but this thing makes it so much easier so you're not bending clear down and having the opportunity to strain your back. The secret to these is that tip. The tip has to be in a bird beak shape. It's flat here on the bottom and then it's kind of comes to a peak here on the top. It comes to a sharp edge. I have seen um, some of these that are with a round tip. I personally don't think the round ones work very well. I think you have to get them so much deeper into the wood. These here work really, really well. Now somebody asked me on the other video, the Fiskars puts out a Picaroon, and they asked me if I thought it would work well. And I have personally never used one, but I looked it up and it does have a nice point on it. And it looks like it would be a lot lighter than most. I just like to have a wooden handle in my hands. I like the feel of wood. Uh, so anyways, that's just my preference, but that Fisker one does look rather appealing I suppose if I came across one for a decent price, I might give it a try and just see what it's like But anyways Thanks so much for joining me on this video. Hopefully it was entertaining. Give us a thumbs up Like share it with a friend that you think might enjoy this content Subscribe to the channel. It's always helpful and I look forward to seeing you on the next video Have a great day God bless.